G'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And unlike last time, today I'm actually going to show you how to drive manual. Let's first go over what the point of driving manual is. A car can't just stay in one gear all the time. If it did, the engine would be struggling to keep spinning at low speed, and it would be screaming at you on the motorway. Therefore, a car has gears to allow the engine to stay at a relatively constant speed while the vehicle speed increases. In an automatic, the car changes gears for you. In a manual car, changing gears is all done by the driver. This makes it very rewarding to drive, but it can be a challenge to learn. So here goes. This is the transmission lever. It's connected to the transmission, and depending on where you put it, it selects a gear. Most cars have five or six gears, so you want to be in first or second when going slowly, third or fourth when driving around town, and fifth or sixth when driving on the motorway. In order to select a gear, you need to disconnect the wheels, which are connected to the transmission, from the engine, to allow the revs to rise when going down a gear, or fall when going up a gear. This is usually done by the clutch, which is operated by the clutch pedal. Pressing the pedal down opens the clutch, disconnecting the wheels, kind of like putting a car in neutral. Taking your foot off the pedal fully engages the clutch, reconnecting the engine to the wheels. How far you press down the pedal controls how much the clutch is opened. The other two pedals are just the same as an automatic. This one is the brake, and this one is the accelerator. First, let's look at moving off from a stop. We want to start by engaging first gear, so press down on the clutch pedal, move the transmission lever right over to the left and push it forwards into gear. Once in gear, you want to rev up the engine a bit to make sure that it won't stall, and slowly release the clutch. As you release the clutch, the spinning engine is going to engage with the non-spinning wheels, which is going to cause the engine revs to drop. Therefore, you need to progressively apply a bit more throttle as you release the clutch to keep the revs at the same point. Otherwise, it's going to stall. When stopping, brake, clutch in, and come to a stop. Once stopped, you can put the car in neutral and take your foot off the clutch. Keep in mind, the car may roll forwards or backwards if you take your foot off the brake. If you're brand new to driving manual, you want to practice starting off from a stop multiple times until you can do it quickly and smoothly without stalling. Once you've accelerated a bit, it's time to change into the next gear. What you're going to do is take your foot off the throttle just before you press right down on the clutch. Then change into the next gear, slowly release the clutch, and come back on the throttle again. The easiest way to change down a gear is to come off the throttle, clutch in, change down, and very slowly come off the clutch to allow the revs to rise. And that's it. If you practice these skills, you'll be able to get around in a manual car, no problems at all. But the whole point of driving manual is that it's fun and you're in control. So now I'm going to show you a few more challenging skills that can take your manual driving skills to a whole new level. The first one is the hill start. Here you'll be juggling the throttle, clutch and handbrake. Put on the handbrake and then start as normal, applying more throttle than usual to help you out up the hill. Once you've found the engagement point on the clutch, slowly release the handbrake, applying more throttle and releasing the clutch as you do. It's a challenge, but with enough practice, you'll be able to do it. The next one is the blip downshift. Downshifting by using the clutch to increase the revs is slow, at least if you want it to be smooth. A better way to do it is to clutch in, change down, and while you do, tap the throttle to bring the revs up closer to where they need to be for the lower gear. That way, you can come off the clutch much quicker, making the shift faster, and putting less wear in your clutch. The more advanced part to this is what's known as the heel-toe downshift. This is basically the same thing as a blip downshift, but you brake while doing it. So you brake with your toes, and while changing down, you reach over with your heel or the side of your foot to hit the throttle. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to launch a manual transmission car. A lot of people think you just rev up the engine and dump the clutch, but especially in a front wheel drive car, it usually causes a lot of axle tramp and wheel spin, both things that slow a car down. From watching Best Motoring, I've discovered recently a better way to launch a car is to progressively feed power in using the clutch. Now obviously this is going to wear out your clutch a bit, so I wouldn't recommend doing it often, but it usually does make for a quicker and smoother launch. So there we are. Hopefully this has given you an idea of what it's like to drive a manual transmission car and how to do it. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye.